Hey everyone, welcome back. So, um, today we're looking at my Chamberlain Whisper Drive HD600D once again. And today we're going to be doing a full review of this opener. So, um, yeah, here we go. This is a Chamberlain HD600D. Uh, this one was made May 9th, 2007. Uh, this is a one half horsepower belt drive garage door opener. Uh, it has a one half horsepower AC motor in it and um, it is a belt drive. So um, yeah, this one uh, does come with a five piece square rail. Uh, this is actually the original rail to this opener. Um, here is your trolley back here, original trolley to this. And then here is the idler pulley. This is the original idler pulley to this. So, um, yeah, uh, this is a pretty great opener. Uh, I do really like this one. Um, so the accessories it would have had, uh, so it would have had a button similar to this. Uh, it would have been a Chamberlain soft glow panel. So this would have had a, uh, kind of orangish, yellowish glow to it. And it would have said Chamberlain instead of Liftmaster. Um, it would have came with these style sensors, the Gen 2. Uh, this one does require safety sensors for it to run. And then the remote would have been, I believe, the Chamberlain version of this, except it would have had three buttons, and it would have said Chamberlain. But, um, yeah, uh, anyway, so, um, yeah, uh, if we open this up here, we can look at some of the inside stuff here. Um, there is all your wiring. Uh, your two wall button wires go in the red and the left white terminal. And then your set of sensor wires go in the gray terminal and the right white terminal. Um, there's your learn button. So uh, to program remotes, you just push that button and then push uh, whatever remote button you want it to uh, work with. And then it will sync up if it is a uh, 315 megahertz remote. That's what this takes. Um, there's your force controls right there. You got to open force, close force. And then there's your light bulb. And then on this side, if you look at the inside of it here, you got your uh, travel limits there. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, but there's two screws in there. And um, you turn them kind of depending on, you know, whether the door needs to move up more or up less or down more, down less, whatever. And again, there's the model number. Um, this one, like I said, is a belt drive. Uh, under this little sprocket cover here, there is a belt drive sprocket. You can maybe kind of see it. I don't know. But yeah, so um, it is a belt drive. Uh, it has an AC motor. Uh, this one is not capable of battery backup, but um, you know. Uh, anyway, you got your trolley here. Uh, to disconnect this, you just pull straight down on the rope. And then this thing will go vertically and you can move it out. And what's weird about this is you can actually take this trolley off very easily. That's kind of stupid, but you can do that. You just got to get it back on there. Uh, to re-engage it, you just pull this up. And then when you bring it back in, it connects. Um, to tighten and loosen the belt, you have this spring here. Um, this bolt, you turn down to tighten and uh, up to loosen. Uh, the belt should be, it should have some tension on it. Um, you can just kind of do this. Uh, it should have some tension. It shouldn't be all, you know, floppy or anything, but it shouldn't feel, you know, super tight either. But um, anyway, uh, we'll go ahead and run this. I will run it with the wall button and you'll get to see how it sounds. Here we go. So yeah, um, this opener is extremely quiet. Uh, most of these are. Uh, most of the motors in these tend to stay really quiet. Um, so the reason this one was replaced was the belt was all stripped out. Uh, that is a common problem with these. Um, that's kind of the failure point on these. That and then, you know, maybe sometimes the board will go bad in these as well. But I feel like the, the main point of failure in these machines is the belt. But um, anyway, we'll go ahead and run this back down. So, 
So yeah, um, it just moves at the same speed as basically all Chamberlain AC motors that have, you know, one half horsepower motors in them. Um, so the way this square rail works is there's a little bracket that kind of hammers into the uh, rail and then there's two bolts that uh, the rail attaches to the motor head and then the belt goes over the sprocket there. Um, we'll go ahead and run this again. We'll run it with the remote. And obviously I don't actually have this attached to a door, but it would be hooked onto this bracket here. But anyway, we'll run this again. So yeah, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, it does move at a pretty decent rate of speed. Uh, we'll go ahead and demonstrate the sensors here. So uh, with these, if the sensors get misaligned, it'll reverse and then the light will blink 10 times. Um, so yeah, uh, this opener does come with new style light covers, which just means that the little holes on these, that kind of, you know, vent everything. Uh, they're a little bit bigger than uh, most, I guess. Um, we'll see. So this Chamberlain here has old style. See the little holes there are smaller than the ones on this. But um, yeah, so on square rails, I actually have a decent way of uh, testing the force here. So what you can do is take a flathead screwdriver and just kind of stick it in one of the holes in the rail. And then the opener, when it hits something, should reverse on contact. We'll see if it does here. So yeah, it does reverse. Uh, whenever the forces trip, the lights don't blank the same, but um, it does still, you know, stop and reverse like it should. But um, yeah, we'll go ahead and run this back down here. So yeah, um, to take the case off of this, it's pretty easy. It's basically the same as, you know, pretty much all other Chamberlains with this style. Uh, so you got four screws on each side. There's two on the front. And then you have to remove the light covers. And you have to take out that screw on the bottom. And then there's one on the other side as well. So pretty easy there. Um, your mounting brackets just go right there and see this one was at some point mounted on the middle uh, It does have a powder coated chassis, which is nice But um, yeah, I think I've kind of covered just about everything um, Like I said for remotes you have to have a 315 megahertz remote um, Or a remote that is you know compatible with that frequency um, That's what the frequency is. It has purple learn button and a purple antenna somewhere probably up in the light lens but um yeah so there you go i guess we'll go ahead and run this one more time all right uh, i'll go ahead and run this down and then that'll be it So yeah, um, so the pulley up here, uh, it's pretty easy to take off. All you really have to do is just remove that bottom nut there and then take the bolt out and then you can just kind of slide it out. But um, yeah, so there you go. Uh, obviously the rail is five pieces. Um, this is not a very good rail, but that's just what these openers came with. Um, they just kind of snap together. But uh, yeah, there you go. That is the Chamberlain HD600D review. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.